Uh, well, my name is Ben Gardner, and I'm with the Department of Business. Um, we're with the uh, we're a fairly new department, the Government of Newfoundland and Labrador, and our role is to attract companies to establish themselves in the province. Um, we uh, our team is divided into different sector leaders, and I look after the IT sector. Um, within IT, there are several um, subsectors that we're focused on. Um, gaming being one that we're focused on trying to attract companies. Well, there's some natural synergies with what Newfoundland already has to offer. Um, the province is not big. In fact, uh, the entire population of Newfoundland Labrador is about 500,000 people. Um, within within that. 500,000, about 250,000 are in the St. John's area. So we don't have a massive labor pool, um, but that fits very well with um, the profile of the average gaming company, which are not huge in size. Of course, there are big companies, but there are a lot of small companies as well. So we felt like from a talent standpoint, we could absorb small to medium-sized gaming companies quite well. Um, in addition, Newfoundland Labrador has a very strong simulation background. Um, our university has um, a world-renowned um, marine institute, so um, there's a lot of synergies with, obviously, with what goes on in the simulation um, sector and the gaming sector. So we felt like there was a good match there as well. Um, and, and the last thing is um, there's very creative culture in Newfoundland, and so. Um, with the youth and uh, our, our university being Memorial University is the largest university in Atlantic Canada. Um, there's a lot of interest in going into knowledge industries and gaming and applying that creative nature um, to, to work. And so um, it's, it's interesting. We've seen um, the, there's a business incubator at Memorial University um, called the Genesis Center. And since we've started to promote uh, to the gaming industry, um, we've seen three companies come up through the gaming industry that have sort of been homegrown. Um, so I think what's happening is students are recognizing that there's jobs for them that are not just oil and gas or fishing related jobs. And so gaming has an appeal to, to youth, obviously. Right. From the incentive standpoint, um, we have a, a program in place that fits very well with the needs of small to medium sized gaming companies. Um, other provinces in Canada have done very well with digital media tax credits. Um, the disadvantage to those types of programs is um, there's a delay uh, from when you can get your funding. So you basically produce your title and then you apply for the credit and you get it back. We have something called a business attraction fund, which is a $29 million fund on an annual basis. And we can deploy those funds on an ongoing basis to companies. So basically from day one they set up in Newfoundland, we can be supporting the companies financially for anything from payroll support to building the studio, training, relocation costs. And so for smaller to medium-sized companies that are going to be producing titles, but they'll have a cash flow issue until they actually monetize those titles, um, we can provide the financial support going forward. Each company that we support is a little different. We've never done two the same. But in the gaming world, um, we find that payroll rebate, recruiting, training costs really resonate. Well, we, we do get a lot of interest from companies in South America, again, on the incentive side, um, where, you know, depending on which country they're in, but there may not be that support for them. Um, Europe makes sense for a lot of reasons outside of the incentives. The time zone advantage is a big one. So we'll, we'll meet with companies who want to do business in North America and maybe um, do business in Silicon Valley or in California or L.A., um, but from a logistical standpoint, it's difficult with the time zone. So where we're located, we're sort of sandwiched right between Europe and the west coast of the United States. So that, that presents a nice advantage. Because we're a fairly new player in this, uh, in this sector, um, historically there hasn't been a huge talent pool. Um, two and a half years ago, we didn't have any gaming companies in Newfoundland. Uh, today we have nine. So there's a talent pool that's starting to build. Um, St. John's is our capital city and it's actually one of the fastest growing cities in Canada. So we draw people in from all across Canada, in particular Atlantic Canada. Um, so the, um, we call it the expo expat factor, but there's been a lot of people that have um, left Newfoundland in the past because they wanted to work in knowledge industries and the job opportunities haven't been there. Now that we've got all these studios in place, we're starting to see a real groundswell of people trying to come back in. Um, 
our largest studio has imported a lot of their talent as well. So um, the UK um, has sent a lot of people over to Newfoundland to work. And um, it's been a great experience for them because we are the closest landing point in Canada. So talking to family back home is not such a challenge. It's easy to get back and forth from the UK to St. John's. So the talent pool is a mix now of local talent, Atlanta Canadian talent, Canadian talent, and then people coming in from around the world. Um, when we went into this sector, um, we also, um, the, the public education system or, um, started to pick up on the fact that this was a growing area. And so um, the College of the North Atlantic, which is our um, public college system, has launched a uh, two-year game development program. The first grads will be starting to come out from that this year, so that's also going to add to the talent pool. We haven't reached that point yet where there's, um, say, a game developers association where they're all starting to work together, mostly because they're new companies and they're busy just trying to pr produce their products, right? But um, there's a real, um, it's a small community, so there's a real sense of partnership there. Um, the university is trying to um, encourage sort of integration between the two and work sharing between them. And as the companies start to get themselves established and get more stable, I think that that's only going to grow.